By the way, Pops, I actually have three SAE Pop Awards, two Slicker On Life Awards, two Simon nominations under this belt of mine. All I need now is one round with Nadia Nakai to be in the major leagues. You know, Pops came here, you know, <laughs> as a catering package. <laughs> you are a pseudo, 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 pseudo celeb, my bro. We are not accepting you, my brigade, as a celeb. The bar doesn't go that low. You know, Pops is a celebrity in the same way that people say tomato is a fruit. We accept it scientifically, but we don't acknowledge it. And we also have a Hindu on the panel, and that's nice. And as you know, Hindu people believe cows are sacred. So at any moment, Devi is going to get on her knees and start praying to Celeste. doubt, I know I'm the perfect addition to this panel because for the past 29 years, my job has been to uncover people who lie about who they really are. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> Nadia Nakai, the rapper. <laughs> You know that Nadia released a song that was called 40 Bars. So I went and I looked at this very carefully and deeply, guys. <laughs> and I can report <laughs> that zero bars, guys. Zero. Hey, Sal Beyonce, that's your name? Yes, that's the name. You look like you could be one of the brothers from the wife. <laughs> what? <laughs> what them Babes, you look like you shot someone on the way here. Today. Dangerous, Willa. y'all. All the rappers Nadia has been with know that she can't rap for shit. But one thing they can all agree on is that she spits. She can spit. Unlike me, I'm a comedian, I gag. Now, this is the story about Nadia. It's very funny. So, Nadia left Twitter because it was toxic. And then she goes and dates AKA. <laughs> does it make sense? Does it make sense? Actually, it does. Because that's the only way she'll make it into the Forbes list. <laughs> like, Having said that, though, what the f is a Sal Beyonce now? Where was I? <laughs> what the f I mean, how the f am I supposed to pick on you if you won't pick a f lane? <laughs> I just get this weird vibe of Sal Beyonce. I just get the feeling that she smells of like Zambac and mayonnaise. That's the vibe. <laughs> Look, I mean, you know, I don't want to be insensitive. <laughs> like, I'm glad we sorted out the pronouns, because that is important. That is actually, that, that is a real thing. Like, whatever you want to be called, I'll f call you that. That's cool. You know what I mean? So she, her, that's cool. Like, I get it. I know the gender now. Just working on the species. Um, um, I... Guys, seeing John here still traumatizes me, because this mother f me over. Just in case you didn't know, John Flesmas did to me and Pops what DJ Spoo did to Zahar. What, what? Tibo Touch, you know a lot about that. So it's your TV. Boo, 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 boo. And you look a little bit like Chester Missing when he was still a black guy. Um, <laughs> which, which makes quite a lot of sense, because for a while, you did have Gareth Cliff's hand up asshole. Um, 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 like, I try not to work on stereotype things. Like, I try not to. And I didn't think that the vendor big dick stereotype thing was, you know, applied to Mac G until I realized that he made it his co-host. Um, um, 
<laughs> Listening to you tonight, I can understand why you need the other guy. Um, um, so, so, but the podcast's important. It's an important thing. It's new media. It's exciting. It's opened up a whole new audience for you because you just kind of popped up out of nowhere and suddenly you were like this A-list. Um, um, amazing. Thank you. I like you. I want to meet your mother. Uh, I want to. I want to insert you back into her, <laughs> so that I can abort you myself. Ah, uh, John has had more coke in him than my friend's barber shop. <laughs> but you look amazing right now. I think you get your, your drugs from Woolies, right? Listen, if you don't want to go back to drugs, stay away from South Beyonce, because she's gonna offer you her crack. Celeste and her front teeth took a gap here. And it looks like the teeth never came back. The only thing bigger than the gap between your teeth is the age gap between Silo and the woman that he dates. You know, the last time I was surrounded by so many untalented people <laughs> was when I was in Generation. I'm not sure that I'm drunk or not. Are you still doubting that? Yeah? Are you still doubting? You're doubting? Nah, relax, relax. I'm not drunk. I'm just reenacting how everyone here has stumbled through their careers. The Comedy Central Roast of Can You Bow?